in the Great Basin National Park are some of the oldest living organisms in the world. They have been there since you were born and since Caesar was born. They were there for the Roman, the Greek, the Egyptian empires, and they have been standing at the top of that mountain, quietly growing for over 5,000 years. How do we measure time? It's incredibly subjective. A human lifespan is 100 years. Uh, empire can rise and fall within 1,000. Against a geological time scale, we're all just tiny sparks of life. But some organisms glow for a little bit longer. Here in the Great Basin National Park are the bristlecone pines. One of these beautiful ancient gnarled trees that was born today could live to see us leave the planet and go to other stars. It might see us change fundamentally as humans or, or even disappear altogether. Where I'm sitting, the bristlecone pines are way, way back there. Down at this lower elevation, bristlecone pines look like normal pine trees. You wouldn't know them as anything special if you went by them, but that just shows their adaptability because as they go up the mountain, they turn into something else. They, they stay small. They become these gnarled, smooth, little six-foot-tall creatures. They use their resources very, very slowly. We didn't always know how old bristlecone trees were. In the past, people had associated the size of trees with their age. In 1964, a graduate student and geographer named Donald Curry found the world's oldest living organism, a tree named the Prometheus tree that turned out to be at least 4,900 years old and probably over 5,000. There was just one small problem, which is that in finding out its age, he also killed it. People were not happy about this. It was kind of kept quiet for a few years, but when it came out, people were furious. Exactly what happened is a little unclear. It's possible that Donald Curry's boring tool got stuck in the tree, and then the Park Service offered to cut the tree down to help him get his tool back, or they maybe cut it down so they could get a thin slice of it and really know how old it was. It wasn't until they killed it and started counting its rings they realized that they had killed the world's oldest living thing. It was a bummer. But here's where I, I let Donald Curry off the hook. He wanted to understand how the world had changed. By looking at both living and dead bristlecone pines, it was a window into 10,000 years of history, changing the way we think about time, not in quarters or presidential cycles or even human lifespans, but in thousands of years is increasingly important. Thinking about something that has been living for 5,000 years, that was alive, it as a singular thing, as a singular organism, was there growing before the invention of the alphabet, before the invention of musical notation, before the invention of the sword. It changes your very perspective on time itself. Other trees have since been found which have been dated to be older, they were not killed in the dating process, and they've also been kept secret. Their locations have been hidden, they don't even really have names because they are meant to stay anonymous. But as the world warms, the bristlecone pine has been moving ever higher in search of cooler climates. And one day they're going to run out of space, they'll be at the top of the mountains and there'll be nowhere left for them to go. And then after 5,000 years of quiet living, the bristlecone pines will be out of time. Subscribe here and watch more videos here. If you come to the Great Basin National Park in the summer, you can hike up to a grove of bristlecone pines. You can even see the stump of Prometheus. It's just an incredibly beautiful place to visit.